This presentation will cover the newest release for the IMS 3000 and includes information about software version 3.3 and new hardware options. In 2017, Dolby released the IMS 3000 with a rich set of features including an onboard audio processor with Dolby Atmos capabilities. In December of 2018, Dolby released version 3.3. This new software bundle will unlock additional functionality on the same Dolby IMS 3000 server. Here is a list of the features that are being introduced with this new software. This release is targeted for all Dolby IMS 3000s and includes servers already in the field. We encourage everyone with an IMS 3000 to upgrade to the new software version right away. It is not necessary to add the NAS or network attached storage device to benefit from this upgrade. One of the major additions is the ability for the IMS 3000 to interface with a NAS, which will hold four 4 terabyte drives as the main storage. This means that you will not put the smaller 2.5-inch drives into the IMS 3000. The main storage NAS is purchased directly from Dolby and shipped with four 4 terabyte hard drives in a pre-configured RAID 5, which provides total storage of approximately 10.5 terabytes. These drives are standard 3.5-inch type used in other Dolby server products. The main storage NAS currently being offered is a QNAP model. However, it has a custom Dolby firmware, which is why it is required to be purchased through the Dolby dealer network. In addition, the IMS 3000 and projector can be powered off at night while the main storage NAS can ingest new content. When the IMS 3000 is powered on in the morning, it will be able to use the transferred content. We now sell the IMS 3000 based on the storage type. IMS 3000 with 1 terabyte mechanical drives, IMS 3000 with 2 terabyte SSDs, and an IMS 3000 with the external main storage NAS. Customers who have already purchased an IMS 3000 with internal drives can upgrade to the external main storage NAS with this part number. You will receive one main storage NAS and four 4 terabyte pre-configured hard drives. The main storage NAS replaces the 2.5-inch internal hard drives. You cannot use the NAS as main storage in the 2.5-inch drives together. With the introduction of these new SKUs, we are changing the way we ship the IMS 3000. Instead of shipping the IMS 3000 and storage in one box, we now separate the IMS 3000 hard drives and main storage NAS. This change simplifies inventory and improves shipping times. This shipping logic carries over to the RMA processing. Replacement IMS servers will ship without hard drives. You will use your existing hard drives, which has your content and playlists already loaded. Let's take a closer look at how the main storage NAS and the IMS 3000 interact and connect. There is a dedicated connection between one of the IMS 3000 ports and the NAS Ethernet 1 port. In this case, Ethernet 0 is the port used on the server. This is a dedicated connection and no switch or other hardware should be placed in between these two devices. The Ethernet cable can be up to 50 meters or 165 feet in length, which allows flexibility for placement during installation. The IMS 3000 has one Ethernet port used for connection to the content management network. This is for typical ingest transfers while the IMS 3000 is powered on. It is shown as Ethernet 1 in this diagram. The main storage NAS uses Ethernet 2 to connect to the content management network. The NAS can stay powered on and be used for content ingest while the IMS 3000 is powered off. When the IMS 3000 is powered on, we recommend all ingests to go through the IMS 3000 as shown here. The IMS 3000 ingest speeds are quicker than when content is transferred directly to the main storage NAS. When the IMS 3000 is powered off, the NAS is capable of offline ingest from the content management network. The main storage NAS performs the same ingest checks that the IMS 3000 performs. The Dolby TMS supports this offline ingest functionality in TMS software 5.0.3. In this new software bundle, we have added an improvement called playback and dynamic throttling. This algorithm allows the IMS 3000 to monitor the playback buffer and only throttle the ingest performance if the playback buffer is low. Ingest speeds have been improved upon from previous versions of software. 
One of the most popular features from Dolby's DSS server line was the ease of building and scheduling shows. We have now added support for drag and drop in our CineLister editor and scheduling pages. In this example, we drop Action Movie onto the timeline at 10 a.m. We can then configure additional settings to repeat the playback for future days. Another customer request was to improve how a Do Re Mi or Dolby server is added to the Content Feed Manager. This had been a manual process where you had to input the IP address, username, and password in order to add a server. We've added an auto discovery feature which scans the network for available servers. They are sorted by product types and other common settings are displayed for easy selection. Now the server has been added and content can be ingested using the ingest manager. Play from Shipping Drive is another feature that was on the DSS line of servers that we have brought to the Dolby IMS 3000. In emergency scenarios, theater personnel can plug a USB 3 or eSATA shipping drive, also known as content drive, and play directly from it. The option is located in the ingest manager and is labeled quick ingest. When selected, the content will appear within one minute in CineLister and will be available to play. Once the shipping drive is disconnected from the IMS 3000, the content will be removed from CineLister. A major improvement in this software version is upgrading the HDMI input port on the IMS 3000. When the IMS 3000 was released, it supported HDMI 1.4a with HDCP 1.4. The new software upgrades HDMI to 2.0 with HDCP 2.2. As a result, we now support 4K UHD TV formats at 60 frames per second. Please note that 4K at 60 frames per second requires a compatible projector. Series 2 projector slots support a maximum of 4K 30 frames per second. Due to the Series 2 limitation, the IMS 3000 can downscale to 2K in order to preserve the frame rate. The IMS 3000 can now take advantage of HDMI Rec 2020, an expanded color gamut, and True HD support which allows for consumer Dolby Atmos playback. We also improved HDMI 2K to 4K upscaling and support for dual 3G SDI inputs. Another improvement is a new mobile app that can be used to control the Dolby IMS 3000 user interface with an Android or iOS tablet. Each IMS 3000 in the projection booth would have a USB Bluetooth dongle and the tablet can connect to any IMS 3000 in range. Dolby has validated an Asus USB-BT400 Bluetooth dongle that can be purchased as is shown here. To prevent unauthorized access, Setup via the web UI is required to trust the tablet. This is a one-time requirement, then the tablet can be used with that IMS 3000. The IMS 3000 UI should be used on 8.5-inch tablets or larger for proper UI display. The Cinema Server Control app is available from the Google Play or Apple App Store. This new software bundle is currently available. All previously sold IMS 3000s with a valid software maintenance agreement are eligible for the upgrade. Contact your Dolby representative for any questions you might have.